everyone, Artosis here, bringing you some more race survival series. We're in week eight, number <laughs> week number eight right now, uh, and we are closing in on the end. Royal represents the Terran race, and behind him, he has speed for backup if need be. And down here in the bottom right of Ascension, the last non-Terran left this week, but easily the best player this week. It's Mini. So the ASL Season 12 champion, the multiple-time ASL finalist, an absolute monster. And, like, I mean, it's a, it's a tall order, though, to have to beat Royal and then beat Speed, two players that play completely different styles. Uh, it's it's going to be tough for him, but it's doable because, again, I think he he's obviously, like, currently the strongest player uh, in this week. So we'll see what he can get done. Ascension is considered a Protoss favored map for uh, this matchup. So that may end up helping him as well. But uh, I think Royal uh, has the right skill set to fight against that without too much problem. Um, Royal, he's, he's a little bit more fancy with the way that he plays. Uh, and if, if it's like Mini's fancy too, right? But Royal is almost more fancy. I I definitely am not saying this very well, but I think the Terran fanciness of Royal uh, can combat the Protoss fanciness of Mini, okay? <laughs> Just believe me. We might end up seeing Lockdown. Who knows? Definitely uh, something that Royal has been messing around with. Now, uh, it is a gas opener here, and not a Nexus first, but instead a Gateway Nexus coming out for Mini. So, very solid build from him. We'll see what Royal does against this. Um, when you go for a factory expansion on a map like this, you are a little bit afraid of hitting something like a Nexus first or a Gateway Nexus because the standard uh, counterplay is a Marine SCV pull. But look, this is a very fast factory. That was a, a 220 factory, so that is about 15 seconds faster than normal. Uh, and I believe this was an 11 gas because he's making that, that second depot after the factory. So uh, this is just kind of an alternate build, but he'll get that bolt out so quickly. He might end up rushing this. I could see I could see him doing that. And he gets in here, scouts it, sees the one gate. Uh, I would say, in my opinion, with these two builds, the way that they're lining up, if Royal wants to do a Marine SCV Vulture pull, I think he will kill the Nexus. Even though this map is notoriously a little bit hard for that, the rush distance is pretty far when you look at it, right? Like to go from here through do, 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 all the way down through here and into there. It's very tough. And then also this choke point makes it hard because any units here, uh, it's going to be really messy trying to get Marines through that area. But yeah, like I said, I think that between the uh, faster factory as well as, you know, the the one gateway opener here from Mini. I think it is doable. So the one Zella is up here and watching the Marines come. More Marines and Vultures. No SCVs? Okay, okay, here we go. So six SCVs being pulled along with this one. So that's seven SCVs plus this one is eight. Normally the Scout plus eight is how many is sent. So it's one less than normal. Also, the pull is a little bit later than it normally is. Uh, the Vulture is going to get here first, and obviously that's going to be fantastic against these Zealots. Oh, no. Oh, ooh, he just barely gets it out of there. Very, very important moment right there. Definitely has to be careful with this Vulture. If you lose the Vulture, the rush is almost over. All right, he is repairing. Here come the SCVs. He's not going through the little hole notice. The reinforcements will. And here we go. Oh, my God. He's got a lot of damage here. I don't think there's any way for Mini to hold this. Yeah, he pulls his probes back immediately. He's going to go all the way back to the eggs. Kills that SCV that was falling. Going to try to micro this Dragoon, but honestly, I think he's got to be very careful here. This army is just way better right now. Before that Dragoon range upgrade is done, you are getting a lot of value out of these units. Now, nice repairs onto these vultures. We don't have a robo yet. We should be seeing that. Yeah, there it is. That's like the most important thing. You gotta get your robo very quickly when your Nexus is being busted. 
In the meantime, we do have a Royal going for his uh, command center as natural, getting mines as well to set up a bit of a contain. And look at that, sending his SCVs back. He's not going to repair the bunker. He is just, he's going to give up this location in general. This is not something you oftentimes see. Normally, you have the four SCVs do repairing uh, on the bunker to just hold this area longer. Okay, he sends the SCVs back. That's interesting. You, like, seriously, you never really see that. Uh, so, the Dragoons, I mean, they're continuing to put on the pressure on this bunker, but it's going to take a long time. You have to get more than the SCV count to actually break it. Now, a couple mines being laid in good locations. Another Dragoon comes out. He wants to kill off an SCV. That'll make it a lot quicker to break through. And now he does have enough to eventually break through, but it will take a little bit. Observatory is on the way. More Dragoons still being produced here from Mini. Notice he is trying to kill those SCVs. Nice pullback by Royal. And that is going to be that for that bunker contained. So we should see Mini go for a couple Nexuses as quick as is possible at this point. That is kind of the normal play. He is going to have an Observer coming out pretty quickly to clear the mines. Let's take a look over at Royal's base. So that's a really quick armory. Looks like he's going to go for a macro play here. Uh, no sort of follow-up timing attack. Oh! He just canceled the armory. Oh, he's going to add more factories because his mines saw the probe walk up here, which shows third nexus, right? Uh, and with that third nexus, I think what he's looking at is the overall Dragoon count in addition to the fact that obviously you immediately make this nexus, but then you send up a probe to make the other. And since he's done that, there's no Reaver. And so Royal can kind of just cancel this out and, you know, go for uh, a pressure play. Now, there is an engineering bay on the way. Oh, a starport? See, now this is the fanciness I was talking about. This is not something you would expect. This is way out of position uh, to the point where you're just literally you can't scout it as Protoss. There's no reason you would ever send anything down there, especially in a tense game like this. Little wall going in at the natural. There is a Reaver follow-up here, which is very, very standard. That armory cancel, I'm still fascinated by it. I'm trying to figure out like if, if my analysis there was correct or not. Uh, he will start the armory here now as well. So yeah, it just pushes that armory timing back quite a bit. I mean, it's not that much to cancel. 25% of the cost, so it's not like a, a huge loss. Oops, took that vision off for a moment. All right, shuttle speed on the way here for Mini. Definitely something that he prefers to use. Observer scouting everything out. It's going to be exciting to see if the drop that's coming up for Royal is actually going to get any damage. Because you see the Observer kind of going around. A couple Dragoons out in the middle of the map. It's got Dragoons here to try to block Vulture Harass. Good group here as well. Has some in the main base. Mini is trying to defend against everything right now. Which obviously is going to be pretty difficult. If four Vultures with speed get in your base, you need more than just a few Dragoons. You need a very good Sim City there as well. Right, more vultures being made, just sitting on those four tanks. Looks like Mini is thinking about taking a fourth base. Huh. That's a very quick fourth base. But his observer is scouting everything, so he definitely feels like he is able to do this against two factories. Like, the odds of uh, Royal getting anything done with the two factories... Uh, Damage-wise against the army of many doesn't seem very promising. Let's take a look at the unit count, right? It's like there are a lot of Dragoons out. There's 12 Dragoons right now. So, you, like, four tanks just can't fight against that at all. Now, the Reaver drop starts to come out, and he's actually getting some great damage. Look at this. Drops out that Zealot. Going to get another shot off. But here comes the Vulture drop. Oh, no. Three Dragoons sitting exactly where he was unloading it. Very, very painful. The Reaver's still trying to get some damage. Runs around here, and he's going to get behind that mineral line. So definitely some good probe damage will occur. In the meantime, the Reaver is doing some damage by itself. Killing off maybe a depot. We have a nice run-in from these Vultures in the front as well. Oh, my God. The damage being dealt right now to Mini is substantial. 
What a great move as those Dragoons go back to help clean up the drop. He gets in the front door. Going to this third base now as well. And you can see just a plummeting of the probe count. Down now 11 workers. Now that's, that's pretty big. That is pretty big. But Mini still has play in this game. Just to, just to be clear, right? He has a fourth Nexus. And we still don't have an army that can attack him. Okay, you can do harassment, but six siege tanks is not enough. Uh, you know, siege tanks are probably, I guess, probably the unit that people would be most familiar with, uh, where they they scale really well in large numbers, but really terribly in small numbers. Like six siege tanks against 12 dragoons, let's say it's 12, you're going to have a hard time. But if it's like 12 siege tanks against 20 dragoons, oh my god, you do so much better. Like, you'll just splatter them, right? So, it's a... He doesn't really have a great attacking force yet. Now, Reaver's going to try to slow this down from the high ground. A very smart move. He does have six facts. So, it looks like Royal does, in fact, want to attack. He's about to have that plus one. Is he going to be able to get real damage done, though? We don't have that many gates. It's like four gates right now, so we're just not... Like, the production is much better for Terran right now. Six factories against four gates. Like, even if it's reversed, if it's like four factories against six gates, you're still doing okay as Terran. Because you can get a lot of efficiency uh, if your units are placed correctly. Now, another couple of vultures dropped in here. Trying to get a bit of damage. Not too much to be done. Oh, double speed shell. I knew I heard some explosions. Trying to utilize these Reavers here to slow this push even more. Deal some damage to this army. Okay, the Hurt Shuttle he does end up sacrificing. Picks up what he can with the remaining shuttle. One very Hurt Reaver here. But, I mean, he's slowed the push a lot. A lot of those Siege Tanks did end up getting blown up. Not many Goliaths or Vultures left with this army either. One thing to mention, we don't have a, a science facility yet. There it is. So uh, just now he's getting his science facility. He does have plus one plating on the way, but it's going to be a while until the rest of his upgrades. All right, the Reaver coming back to help slow this once again. Oh, he is he was trying so hard for a shot onto those tanks. Not going to be able to get it. Mini backing up once again. I mean, he's still mining well out of four bases. You can see he's ahead on that worker count now. Third base just being made now for Royal. Some more harassment here on those probes. But at this point, the probe harassment doesn't do all that much, right? Like you bring him, you spend four vultures to kill like four probes, which at some points in the earlier parts of the game can be a strong move. Uh, but in a situation like this where your opponent has twice as many... Uh, Nexuses as you have command centers and is starting to mass up his gateways crazily, like, he's going to be able to refill those probes very, very quickly, and his army is going to continue to go higher and higher, and you really do need to make sure you're doing that as well. Now, a couple speed shuttles flying in here to the main base. There are a lot of sea chanks kind of waiting for them, and it looks like this is not going to do that well for many. An okay scarab shot there, but overall... Uh, absolutely a solid defense from Royal. So the third base is up and mining. Probably wants to get a fourth command center started pretty quickly. Yeah, he's sending this SCV down. I think that is going to be what that's for. Fifth Nexus going up for Mini now. Mini making a lot of zealots at the moment. He has this observer watching this army movement. Comes up to try to slow it down. Does force like a little bit of a siege, but Royal is not going to be slowed very much. If he gains a strong position here, or even, uh eh, I think up here is not going to work out. There's just too many units. But, ooh, a nice storm goes down. If he can set up a nice position here, he might be able to end up killing a base. More storms being thrown out here from Mini. Pass it back up, though. A little bit of a traffic jam on that small bridge. And look, oh my god, 
This is less a flank and more stopping reinforcing vultures. If you don't have reinforcing vultures, you are in trouble here. Look at this. He's Siege Hank's going to have a hard time. He has got to just push these through the goons, and that's exactly what he's trying to do now. Storm coming down on top of them. Zealots chasing them down as well, targeting as many tanks as he can possibly get on their retreat. A very solid tactical move here from Mini. Coming up with that flank and killing off as much as he possibly can. You can see that supply differential going up in his favor once again. But the fourth command center did get started. That kind of represents the last base in this quadrant uh, for Royal. This one, I mean, you can try to take this one. It's a little bit tricky, though, uh, since the high ground right above it is kind of Mini's territory. So a little bit hard to get that mining. This one's going to be pretty easily defendable. We'll see. I feel like he'll expand here next as opposed to here. Seems a bit more defendable, especially when you see where he's setting up, right? A turret here, setting up a few siege tanks. Seems like, yeah, in mine, so you can't just run up into his fourth base or anything like that. In the meantime, Mini taking another base over here in the other main base. Very, very uh, important location if you can get another main. Upgrades continuing here. 2-2 two, two is on the way as well as EMP. Worker count both sides very, very strong. Both sides uh, are looking good as far as supply goes. Oh, it is double robo here. I actually hadn't noticed that before, but very cool to see. Observer speed on the way right now as well. Really focusing. Mini is always like mass shuttle. And, I mean, he's doing like a little bit, but... Honestly, like the double robo play, uh, it's not as trendy right now. It's it's not terrible, uh, and I mean it's going to give you a lot of mobility. But the I think the problem with Mini's position here is as this kind of gets a bit more turtled, the speed shuttles are going to do less and less. And it's like yeah, if if Terran attacks in you sloppily, the, you're going to do a really good job. But if Terran kind of takes their time, you can't really kill Terran with this once they get to a certain size. So I think that this is going to be a bit problematic for Mini unless he goes into Carrier or into Arbiter. And we'll see if he does that, right? Like, obviously, he's putting a lot of money into these shuttles, so you feel like it's a bit redundant to do, uh, you know, Arbiter or something like that, which would be a cleaner transition than those Carriers. Now, the Vultures get in here. I don't think they're going to quite get the Nexus. Dragoons still coming up. They, uh, they should be able to save this, it looks like. Some more vultures coming, laying some mines in between. More speed shuttles out on the map. Lots of high templars being produced. And just trading as best he can. Now, here we go. He's actually going to try to fly in here. But look, this is it's getting harder to pull this off. Okay, those are some solid storms right there. Definitely a lot of SVs fall. Down to 52. Not the end of the world for Royal, though. Many, many probes being transferred over to his other main base. Another command center being made here from Royal. Looks like he does want to end up taking this one. I thought he would end up taking this base, um, and that would maybe even help him to push towards this area, but this is such a hard area to push around into here when Protoss has all this area to attack at that point if you're focusing here. So, yeah, maybe not a bad choice, actually, to take this one. Then he can push towards the main base and kind of force Mini to play, like, refugee toss style. Or you're having to kind of rebuild your base all along the map if your opponent kills your main. That type of thing can be very strong on a three-player map. A big spread. Missile turrets going down now as well. A very healthy amount of Goliaths mixed in. We do have 2-2 two, two upgrades. 3-3 three, three not started as of yet. A dropship being made. There's that starport. A couple dropships even, which is a great choice. I mean, dropping four tanks here, you're going to blow this up before it can even respond. It's already so, so injured. The storm goes down on the vultures and mines there. A lot of zealots trying to come down. This is way too deep. There's no way Mini is going to get anything done here. Yeah, backs up. Not that efficient for Mini. Does slow down the mining of the base, so that's something at least. More Nexuses going down now. And are we going to see any sort of transition? So right now, three attack, one armor, and he's getting a Plasma Shields upgrade. So very solid upgrades there. 2-2 two, two for Royal. Still no 3-3 three, three started as of yet. 
But the thing is, the, the Terran units do scale better in this situation, and you don't have a... You don't have any giant strong moves you can do. You only have scrappy battles that can occur as Protoss. So, like, I don't... Uh, see, that... I don't think he's going to get his value here. Okay, nice EMP goes down. And he had... I mean, the storms themselves, you look at them on a one-by-one -one basis, they're not bad. But is he making any real headway? Right? Like, look at this spread of Terran. Now, how, how can you do something against this? Well, speed shuttles, you don't want to just keep making and like flying over these turrets into mines and everything. Arbiter recalls are actually much more efficient and flexible because they do have uh, the opportunity to send like bigger amounts of army and then also use stasis if need be. Oh, look at this. He does have the drop coming over. Going after that Nexus. He should end up killing it. One more volley. There it is. Yeah, before you can even respond. Very nice move. Um... But yeah, so that it makes me it makes me really worried for for Mini here. Cuz he just he doesn't have those big moves. He doesn't have carriers which are going to scale as well as the mech or anything like that, right? And I think it is too late to go carrier anyway. But where is he going to find a real way into attack? MP goes down, maybe not even really needed there. Mini trying to attack in, but I mean, there's no way on earth you're be cost efficient against this. Now, Mini is getting like a lot of bases, right? Like he's he's mining not quite two two thirds of the map, but he's you know he's got way more mining going on than Royal does, and he's he I mean he's continuing to upgrade on the forges. That's good to see. He's getting Kadarian Amulet so that the uh, High Templars do get those energy boosts. That's good to see as well. But look at this slow, methodical push coming out of Royal. Mini just running away from it. His army's not really well suited to break something this big and strong. All right, the big push goes over towards this high ground. Not many vultures in there. I'd love to see a little bit more of reinforcements with it. Got to be very careful. If uh, Protoss units start to get on top of those siege tanks, they will blow up relatively quickly. All right, EMP on that Nexus. So that's going to fall in a matter of seconds. Some High Templars in one of these shuttles. Those Goliaths just waiting for their chance. And Mini has a huge bang at this point. Look at this. 4K, 1K. But what he's filling it up with is is that going to make the difference? Now, it looks like he wants to attack elsewhere as this attack uh, has most of the Terran units over here. So, Royal turns around to chase this. Shuttles going through these turrets. See what he can get done. Oh, a beautiful EMP. Another one goes out, but Mini delays the drop there. Not getting those storms off that he wanted. Now, he's coming up with a lot of Dragoons and Zealots, and he's starting to do well, but as the rest of the army comes back, will he continue to do well? Those are some very high-quality size storms right there. A ton of damage put on these tanks, but with only Dragoons left, you must retreat. The tanks will still splatter them. A single Reaver somehow still left alive. This thing must be driven by snow at this point. <laughs> Picks up 13 kills, dies at 23 minutes. Very quality Reaver. 3-3, almost done here for uh, for Royal. And for Mini as well, like 3-2-2 two, two is almost done. That double plasma shield is still on the way. One of the only bases not taken as of yet. A few tanks in the center here. Doing a good job of cleaning up this small Dragoon force. Did I just see two Reavers? Oh my god, he's still making Reavers. What is the plan with that? I mean, Reavers are pretty darn expensive, guys. Like, it's... Think of it this way. It's like 275 minerals and 100 gas for a fully loaded Reaver. You'll always load it with five Scarabs. Right? So 275, 100. I mean, it's pretty expensive, right? Is it going to get you more value than like a couple Dragoons? Because that's, that's kind of what the cost equivalent is. And you have to micro it a lot more. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. We do see sometimes, like, Snow gets great value out of his Reavers in the Supreme Lake game. But 
We'll see if Mini is able to do that. Now, Mini coming in. Has the High Templars. Oh, looks like he is going to do a beautiful Storm Drop here. Oh, my God. 11 kills, 12 kills, 15 kills from one High Templar. Amazing moves right there. In the meantime, Royal attacking down to the south. Well, it looks like a couple more base is going to fall for Mini, unfortunately. Mini basically killed this base off, not the command center, but all the SCVs mining at it. So the SCV count is getting a little bit low. But to lose two Nexuses at the same time seems like a losing battle here for Mini. So down goes this one. No probes actually at this base, which is kind of impactful. Oh, comes over the Reavers. Okay. Okay. Shut my mouth about the Reavers. They come over and help something here. This Nexus lives a little bit longer. More and more shuttles on the way. Oh, this Nexus is going to pop before he can even get back there. In fact, he doesn't even try to save it at this point. Yeah, down it goes. The probe's going to be massacred as well. But now we have four speed shuttles together. Where are they headed? Okay, he drops onto a base that's not mining. And he's going to lose every shuttle. And there weren't even mines there. So that that ended up not being good. Oh, a huge scarab right there. Kills so many vultures. Definitely worth. Reaver gets another decent shot. Nice side storm going down. Pop goes that Reaver. Lots of storms being cast out. A great EMP, though. Stops quite a few of them. Might end up having to make some uh, Archons here. Does have a couple storms left over in this one. Still not mining from this base. Just one probe for the longest time. Looks like the Archons do get cleaned up there, unfortunately. He has retaken this base. We don't see any mining as of yet. It looks like Mini finally going to clean up uh, the tanks here. But the banks are pretty dry now, right? Mini was on 4K, 1K for a long time. Now he's sitting here at 1,500, barely any gas, not really mining all that much. Another attack coming in now. Oh, D-Matrix is this siege tank, but actually there's enough units here to clear this out. This could actually be a really big moment for Mini. Look at this, dropping all over this. So it looks like he is gonna end up killing a decent amount of tanks. Unfortunately, one of his High Templars does eat a mine there. The other one gets picked off after just one storm. And while he's killing some of the tanks, Royal going to end up taking this battle as well with some pretty nice micro. This base going to be under attack. Jokes on Royal, though. This hasn't been mined from really at all. See, there's like... <laughs> he mined 80 minerals off one patch and then a ton off of one. That's it. A lot of zealots over here. Another group of army for Mini in the top right. And this is looking to me like Royal almost has it completely done at this point. Look, another attack down into this base. Okay, the Reaver's coming out here. This is a pretty massive drop of those Reavers. Oh, my God. The late game Reaver's doing fantastically, taking out four siege tanks. Definitely worth there. But the base will be saved once again. Royal has this base up and mining now as well. Mini is trying to retake another location. Meanwhile, getting pushed into this uh, bottom left main now. Well, I mean, Mini's getting some damage here. Royal trying to rally down. I feel like... Yeah, I mean, if he just... Oh, he actually gets the command center. But in the meantime, Royal's push looks like it should get this Nexus. 
Okay, so hold on. What do we actually have left mining? Let's take a look. This base is getting very low. This base is going to be out pretty soon. This base, no mining, but has a little bit still very low. Uh, this base looks like it's going to end up dying. Yeah, I don't, I don't see him saving this one, unfortunately. Then he's remade this Nexus. Whereas Royal... Okay, he's out of this base. This base is very close to done. This one's brand new. And, yeah, he's floating his main command center here. So, yeah, it still does look very, very Royal favored. Uh, Mini trying to get some probes across the map for some more mining. Doesn't look like that's going to be doable for him. As Royal at this point has taken so much of the map. Has a, such a nice spread everywhere. Very hard to clean up. But hold on. While we were looking at that, Mini comes in with his speed shuttles once again. Clears out the rest of the sea chanks and actually saves this base. His most important one. Oh my god. Oh my god. What am I even looking at? Did these two Reavers just come in and save the day? They cleared out all the tanks over here, and now here they are, killing off the SCBs at this base. Killing a lot of units as well. They will end up falling, but those were some hero Reavers right there. I didn't know that a non-sentient robot attack unit could end up being a hero, but absolutely in this case. Okay, so Royal on 50 SCVs against 38 probes, but you see the supply differential is more than that. Very difficult situation still. Oh god, the Archon's gonna get EMP'd. <laughs> Down in a matter of seconds, and these Vultures are gonna be able to finish off the space. I think this is basically GG, him losing the space. It was a valiant effort from Mini. Uh, and a fantastic game from both players. But it looks like Terran is going to end up winning week number eight with Royal taking down Mini. Really nothing left over for him at this point. So we should be seeing GG. I mean, he's this is everything you see. That's what he has at this point. And that is just not going to be enough. Trying to get some storm drops off. Very efficient. Very nice. But when you're basically not mining anymore, that's that's got to be the end when your opponent has a couple bases up still. Mini fights on. <laughs> Vulture's coming up. Yeah. Going to knock out this base, and he can knock out this one. So we're going to have, like, literally one probe mining in a second here. Comes over. Oh, okay. Picks off the uh, science pistol. Not bad. Not bad. But nothing is going to be good enough here. Down goes another mining base. And at this point, like, it's 120 army supply against, like, 80. So with a 40 army supply advantage and 3-3 upgrades and not that many spellcasters left over, it, it's, you don't even have to use siege mode. Like, you could actually just attack move as royal here. And I think we're just, like, waiting for Mini to absorb this 30-minute-plus loss. Uh, but, yeah, fantastic game against two of the world's best players. An absolute treat to end up casting here. Hope that you guys have enjoyed. If you stayed this long, thank you very much. Please do follow and subscribe. Hope you guys are enjoying your Tosis Cast channel. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> I really, really don't have anything at this point. Mini trying to uh, make wine out of water. Rubbing two nickels together to make a quarter. Whatever you may call it, it is not going to end up working. Down 100 supply at this point. An almost maxed royal. Getting ready to attack move Mini to death. Has to know Mini does not have very much left over. Continuing to send those vultures down. That's it. GG. Royal wins it for Terran.